that other one. This one's ready to break it. Come over here, I'll we'll throw it through. I dumped a potted plant in my trailer on all my clean clothes getting this down. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. Watch that tree. It's cut. I'd say over there, because I'm going to try to throw this around it and then loop it through there. Not like it's meant for. I hope it ain't going to hurt it. Man, if we can work it up, <laughs> there ain't gonna take much. When it falls, it's gonna be destructive. It may break my tree. Hope it don't hurt my pine tree. Probably here. looks like I'm right here. Because from here, it looks like I should throw it over and I'm on the back. I know I couldn't. No, when I got up here to get on the ladder, I thought I was going to hang off the thing and cut them long branches. See, that's going to come down, and I'm hoping the hell it don't break out my freaking windows. It's coming down one way or another. Oh, actually, I got Hello, Americans. Another friend's subscribing around the room. Thank you, man. <laughs> so, uh, man, looks like the sun's trying to poke out. Um, that snow, man, then that yesterday's video when it just dumped, we ended up getting, I don't know, an inch, maybe two inches. And then it turned to rain, man, and it, uh, it was pouring rain. We ended up staying up pretty late, um, especially for these two old folks. <laughs> But ended up staying up till about midnight, um, watching a movie, and man, it poured the whole time. And then uh, woke up this morning, and you know, I haven't been out to drive yet. I gotta take some packages here in a bit. But one of the things, man, it's gonna be a pretty short video probably. But uh, so I was cutting that tree, and I don't know. I haven't looked at the footage or anything yesterday. Take a beer, but. Uh, you know, I was in, up there on top of the roof with the chainsaw and a stick, and uh, over here, and um, man, so I'm filming away and everything, and what ended up happening up there, I mean, see, we got it now, I don't know if you, yeah, you can kind of see the wire, got the two, ended up kind of snapping this one side, but um, what happened is I got up there and with the chainsaw and a stick, you know, and it's only got that little chain like that, and first cut the little there's a short one that i cut that i had to get off so i got it off and then i cut cut through man went on the other side and was trying to get it to cut you know as much as i could from down below because you look up there and from down here you're like well heck man if i get on that that roof right there it's just right there well man when you get up there on that roof and even when you climb up that extension extension ladder and then i was going to set this one up then it's man's a lot higher than you think it is so anyway Man, I cut through, and dude, I can see through the crack on the tree. I can see, you know, the light. I can see the sky through the crack, and this thing is just holding. And usually, them dang old cottonwoods, man. As soon as there's any kind of give, you know, they just they just break. Well, this one, man, it wasn't. So then, uh, I'm like, oh, I gotta get a rope. Well, I uh, didn't get my rope unloaded, so it's under snow in the back of the green bean, my big long rope. So uh, Kevin's like, well, I got my, my lariat. <laughs> so, man, he grabs this, you know, his rope and lariat. And we get up there and, you know, and I, I don't know how much. Like I said, I don't know what the footage. We'll get to that in a second, how much footage uh, I ended up getting. I haven't looked at it yet. But uh, so anyway, so we end up getting the, the rope or the lariat up over the top and use a pole, man, and push it up there and everything where we want it. Throw the part down to Kevin, you know, and he just had a. Uh, um, knee surgery that's well, about two months ago now so he's recovering he's getting around great he's actually right now is on the, this this is a high-tech hillbilly <laughs> here we are in the middle of nowhere and he's actually talking to the surgeon that is up in moscow he's in there on skype talking to the surgeon and the surgeon so he shows his leg and everything man that's so cool it's crazy man this high-tech world 
but uh, back to the tree. So I have it cut through, you know, so we do the lariat and throw the rope down here and um, get, you know, get down and end up pulling the, man, we just are, man, you know, Kevin's doing what he can do, but I'm over there, man, just heaving. And finally we get it to snap, man, we drop it right down in here, which I've already cut, you know, already cut most of it up and actually got a big burn, got a, burned a bunch of it down below. I should have showed that after I did, but here's the reason that I didn't show it. And so we drop it here. I'm like, cool, man, but I did end up messing up my fence and I ended up breaking a, breaking a branch off of the, which is just a hawthorn, man. They're tough, man, so it'll be. Actually, that's a plum tree, so that's kind of a bummer, actually. We were getting some of the best plums ever off that. I forgot about that. It's not a hawthorn. Um, so I ended up breaking a branch here. I was really worried about my Cellini tree. You know, I wasn't too concerned because these are protected. I was worried about my building, but I ended up, we ended up dropping it right there. It was great. It did end up bent. Whoops. And that's some old wire, but I can straighten it out. So, but the other thing is I had my camera sitting just back from where you're sitting right now. And I looked over and my camera was gone. And that dang branch, man, the top of that branch hit my camera and knocked it down so that's right now i'm filming and everything looks like it's going okay but this is the first test since it got whacked man it's got some man it beat up my camera some there's some war wounds on it so i'm like oh no my camera so I grab my camera take it in man it's obviously covered in snow take it in have miss kitty start drying it out and come back out here and I'm dealing with this so then I go in you know to the car and I'm like well if nothing else man even if it broke my camera that should be some cool you know footage you know it'd be a footage of getting wiped out and geez, man before I ever even had the rope all the way around that tree for some reason this camera had turned itself off so I didn't get any of that so I almost wiped out my dang camera and didn't even get the footage of it so <laughs> so this is not a very happy camper. Oh, whoa, dude. Oh. Anyway, man, I haven't even looked at the weather yet this morning. The sun's just, uh, it's been up for about an hour. Now it's breaking through the clouds. Um, temps are supposed to get up like 40s and stuff. It's going to make a mess out of the road for a little bit. But if they stay high like that, we have one night that they're calling for 34 or 38 overnight low. Man, that is insane. You know, and the, once mushroom season starts, man, that's what we want. It's 40 overnight and 60 during the day is the perfect mushroom hunting. So maybe it's coming. Hopefully it comes sooner. I ain't going to get too cocky. I'm going to knock on some wood. <laughs> so anyway, man, so I'm going to... Uh, Basically, just wanted to test this camera and, of course, check in to any, any of y'all that are, uh, oh, we'll go over and check out that slit off there, too, that rain. Um, any of y'all that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Let's walk over here and look at this sliding off of the uh, roof over here. Well, some people that aren't in snow country ain't ever seen nothing like that before. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty dang cool. See how it slid right off. Look how it's all bent and folded. Look at them mountain treasures underneath there. Let's see that table's toast. But really, man, just wanted to, for one thing, is test this camera. Um, I'm going to go in and do a lot of listening. i got a big sale going on on the eBay, man. So make sure you go over there and check out the eBay store. And the link's down below. And sign up for the mountainjunkers.com. And, of course, go over and check out Mountain Junkers on YouTube, too. And get Please like and subscribe while you're over there, too. Got to do all these plugs, man. I know some people are like, oh, that's all you talk about. Well, it's just my life. <laughs> you get what you get, man. That's what comes with this hillbilly, man, is the, the junking and all that. And Check out the links below. It helps support the homestead. We appreciate that so we can keep doing our thing, man. And other than that, oh, yes, and it helps keep the lights on, the home fires burning, and the propane tanks full. So, good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.